food tests of nutrients the three main nutrients are carbohydrates proteins and fats there are tests that you can do to see whether a particular food has carbohydrate or protein or fat let's see what they are let's see what the test for carbohydrate is there are many different types of carbohydrates one of the carbohydrates is starch we can easily run a test to check if food has starch to check for starch you need to have some iodine solution why iodine solution because iodine solution turns starch blue so we put a few drops of iodine solution on the food that we have to test if the food turns blue it means there is starch in the food let's see what happens when we put iodine solution on starchy food Let's see what happens when we put iodine solution on food that has no starch in it. Let's see what the test for proteins is. To check for proteins, we first need to make sure the food is in the form of a paste or powder. If it's a solid then mash it or grind it and make it into a powder then take a test tube put a bit of the food in it and add 10 drops of water to it shake the test tube now you need some copper sulfate solution and some caustic soda solution to the test tube add in 2 drops copper sulfate solution 10 drops caustic soda solution Then shake the test tube well and then let it stand for a few minutes. What do you see? Does the top of the solution turn violet? It means the food has protein in it. Does the top of the solution not change color? It means the food does not have protein in it. Look at these test tubes which are tested for protein. Which one has more protein content? Egg white contains a lot of protein. The test for protein is called the Burette test. This involves adding some sodium hydroxide solution, then running some very dilute copper sulfate solution down the side of the tube. At the top of the mixture, the color change to mauve shows that protein is present. So, which of these will test positive for protein? bread in tube 1 nuts in 2 and grape juice in 3 both the bread and nuts contain protein which contains more let's see what the test for fats is To check for fats, we need a piece of paper. Wrap the food in the paper and crush it. Take care that the paper does not tear. Then open up the paper and hold it against the light. Does it have an oily patch on it? That means the food has fat in it. If the food item has water, then let the paper dry. and then check for the oily patch if no oily patch shows then it means that the food does not have fat in it what did we just learn there are tests to check for the major nutrients in food the major nutrients are proteins carbohydrates and fats